What now, a 10 News Morning Original. New reporting, first at 6. All right, tech and gadget lovers, this is your week. It's the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, where you're going to find the latest wild tech and also improvements to things that you use every day, like fast running people. <laughs> a San Diego company is ready to unveil the future of wireless tech. Our tenders reporter Jared Aaron's got an exclusive preview of Qualcomm's 5G technology. Yeah, Jared. we've been hearing about this for a while. 5G is the big thing, and it looks like 2019 may be when it finally becomes a reality. But even though companies like Qualcomm helped create 5G right here in San Diego, it could still be a little while before we get to use it. It's the future of wireless connections, a new network built from the ground up as much as 20 times faster than 4G. It will be a very exciting year. Qualcomm marketing director Ignacio Contreras says his company has been working for decades to make this a reality. Different from 4G or 3G, which mainly serviced phones, 5G will connect every part of your life. Think about cars, uh, smart meters, uh, kind of uh, laptops, everything that you have around you, virtually everything will be able to be connected with 5G. At this week's Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, Qualcomm will show off their Snapdragon 855 mobile platform, a chip barely larger than a dime that will revolutionize wireless. A Snapdragon 855 mobile platform is the heart of uh, virtually all 5G devices that we expect to see uh, on the first wave this year. They'll also show reference phones, virtual reality, connected cars, and more. But moving from old flip phones to this has been a slow process, and San Diego may still have a while to wait. Verizon started 5G home service in four cities last month. They plan mobile service this year, including in California, but haven't said which cities or when. AT&T already has mobile 5G in 12 cities, mostly in the southeast and Texas. San Diego is one of seven cities they plan to add in the first half of 2019. And Sprint will start coverage for 5G in nine major cities in the first half of this year, but not here, which Contreras says may make San Diego late to the party. 2020 will be probably too late to get it started. This is the year we'll see 5G coming to life in the hands of many people in, around the world. The network's nice, but you got to have the hardware to run it. AT&T and Samsung are the only companies right now that have announced plans to market a 5G phone within the next few months. In the Live Center, Jared Aarons, 10 News. Thank it's you, Jared. faster, better. It's cool. crazy how fast Just it tell goes, me when right? It gets, yeah, when it gets fast and I'm ready. Yeah, yeah, let me know when it gets to 10G. <laughs> I was typing on my computer this morning. It was slow and I was so frustrated. It's like, man, we <laughs> we're so spoiled now. All right, Steve, this one's for you. It's Great. early this morning. Here's your cup of coffee forecast.